Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Let's dive into today's video about whether or not September tends to be a red month for Bitcoin. Is it really a down month? Is it really a red month to be worried about? Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right in. So this is a chart of Bitcoin monthly returns in percentages. And let's just have a look at September here. And you can see that, yes, out of the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Septembers, yes, there were six red months. But if you look at the facts, the data a little bit closer, you'll notice that a lot of those red months are single digit red months. Of course, you see minus 13% here and minus 19% there, but that's about it for double digit red months in the month of September for Bitcoin, because actually you tend to see 1% red month, still a red month, but of course, many people, when they think about red months, they think about a crash of massive proportions, whereas minus 1%, still a red month, but really nothing to be worried about. Minus 7%, minus 5%, minus 7.5%. So looking closely at the facts, you notice that September, yes, it tends to be a red month, but most of the time, probabilistically speaking, you tend to see single digit downside, which only just goes to show that September shouldn't be necessarily a month for profit taking because by the same token, you have very limited upside, only 6% in 2016 and 2% in 2015 upside in September. So don't count on any profitability when it comes to longs because this isn't a month to enjoy upside. In fact, you tend to see a bit of downside, but this downside also is limited in the same way that this upside is limited, which just goes to show, aren't these just normal price fluctuations for Bitcoin? Isn't this just consolidation before the next move up? Because if you look at October, look at how drastically different this month tends to be historically. You see 27%, 10, 47, 14, 33, 60. I'm just showcasing this October to you just to showcase that this tends to be a bullish month by standards of history. And if you compare it to September, then September is relatively unremarkable and it just sets the stage for the bullish months that are yet ahead. So October, November even, and even December, though December tends to have its fair share of some strong downside months, but still sometimes single digit downside, but also sometimes double digit downside as well. But my point here is don't get caught up in looking at September. Let's look beyond September because you tend to see bullish months ahead of September. So September overall is a period where we tend to see consolidation rather than corrections. It's really important to qualify statements and narratives where September is a red month because a red month like 7%, 5%, 1% isn't something to be worried about. If anything, though this might not be a month for profit taking, it certainly is a month for reaccumulation, especially if October and November are so bullish afterwards. So important to think about not necessarily your profit taking strategies because the limited upside isn't really worth it. It's important to look about or at least think about apologies, the dollar cost averaging strategies that you could put in place to make the most of a cheap Bitcoin should that cheap Bitcoin occur in the month of September. And this is basically what I've been talking about over the over the weekend, really, on my Twitter, that we tend to see negative returns in the month of September, but rarely do those negative returns reach double digits, as we've seen over here, 7%, 5%, 1%. So single digit downside of 1% to 7.5% is more likely than double digit downside of 13%. To 19%, right? 13 to 19% double digit downside is less likely than 1% to 7.5% uh, downside, single digit downside. Something really important to bear in mind. And this is something that I stress in this tweet. Red month, 
but closer, close inspection of the facts, you uh, of the facts, apologies, you see that double di double digit downside only occurred twice in Bitcoin's storied history, minus 13 to 19 percent, but more commonly minus one to seven and a half percent. So it's not really a down month, is it? Overall, September is just a month of consolidation. And if you look at the average numbers for historical negative monthly return for Bitcoin in the month of September, it's only eight and a half percent. So the narrative of a red September is made out to be a much bigger deal than it really is. An average downside across history, across time for Bitcoin in September, minus 8.6%. We see these moves on a daily almost basis from Bitcoin. So this is pretty much normal price fluctuation. So a narrative of a red September, we shouldn't be losing sleep over such a narrative. So the most important thing to bear in mind, an important takeaway, September tends to be a month of limited upside, but since downside is much more common, it should be a month for reaccumulation, just like I've been talking about. And though it might be an unremarkable month, October is one to be bullish about because in October, we tend to see an average positive monthly return of 32%. So at least use an unremarkable September to your advantage strategically to position yourself favorably to make the most of a likely strong October. So you can see how we're using data to our advantage, trying to strategically plan and position ourselves in a way that we can make the most of the market that is yet ahead. Really important to look beyond September because September is attracting all of this focus about this narrative of a red September but it really is an unremarkable month. We should be focusing on the months ahead, October, November, December. But just for the future, here is a brief list of the top performing months for Bitcoin in terms of monthly returns. That's February, that's April, and it's October, November, and December. So it's late August right now, but if history is any indication, the best is still yet to come. So even though it's an unremarkable September ahead of us, most likely, Perhaps the best is still yet to come, historically speaking. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And of course, like the video if you'd like me to go into data and give you guys insights on how to use this data to your advantage so that you strategically position yourself for a Bitcoin rise or even Bitcoin downside so that you can dollar cost average into. In any case, thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Rekt Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.